today I'm going to give you guys a full haul. I'm going to be going over pricing. I'm going to be going over sizing. I'm going to be going over shipping and give you guys my thoughts and feedback on everything to do with my entire Pat Pat experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full haul and review of Pat Pad, which if you don't know what Pat Pad is, it's basically an online clothing store. They have a ton of baby clothes. They also are super well known for their mommy and me matching sets. They have like matching family pajamas, matching family swimsuits. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen Pat Pat on your Facebook or Instagram feeds before. That's where I first saw them. They always have ads on Facebook. I've always wanted to order from Pat Pat before, so I thought, you know what? It's finally time to give this company a try. Today I'm going to give you guys a full haul. I'm going to be going over pricing. I'm going to be going over sizing. I'm going to be going over shipping and give you guys my thoughts and feedback on everything to do with my entire Pat Pat experience so that you can decide for yourself if you would like to order from them. So the first thing I did want to mention is that everything I got was under $10. So each individual outfit or individual piece of clothing was under $10, which is obviously very good pricing. But I'm excited to see how the quality is. The first thing I will touch on is the shipping. That is one thing I am always nervous about when ordering from new companies is how long it's going to take and am I actually ever going to receive the parcel. I'm happy to announce that I did receive the parcel and it took exactly two weeks to get to me which I think is pretty standard for this company is what I've heard before. It's around two weeks. Keep in mind that I do live like in the middle of nowhere in Canada so two weeks to me from China, which is where it comes from, is pretty good. Yes, these clothes are made in China. It says right on the tags, made in China. A lot of things are these days, and it does ship directly from China. So one thing that I was really impressed with, as soon as I ordered, I got an email confirmation that I had ordered, which was awesome because it just kind of makes me feel like, okay, maybe this is actually a legit company. I have a receipt here, that's a good start. And as soon as it shipped out, which I believe it shipped out either the day after I ordered it or the next day, it was pretty fast. I got an email as soon as it shipped out, and I also got tracking updates every single time it reached a new mail facility. So every time it got to a new city, I got a tracking update. So I will say I was very, very impressed with the tracking and the communication from them. I received tracking updates the entire time right until it got to my mailbox. So that was really awesome. I never had to wonder where my parcel was. Two weeks to get to me, I feel like is pretty good. Okay, so let's get started opening the outfits and see what they look like. This is the first outfit that I I got I wrote the prices on the bag so that I could tell you guys how much everything was so this one was $8.99 this is what it looks like we have a cute little sweater and we have matching pants as well so $8.99 for a full outfit sweater and pants is definitely pretty good I can tell you right now that this is not like lined at all, which is totally fine because I wasn't expecting it to be, but it's just, you know, it's just pretty thin fabric, but it is very soft and first impression, like it looks pretty good. I obviously haven't tried this on her. And for $8.99, the quality feels really good to me. It's stretchy, yeah, it feels really good. So now let's talk about sizing because this is something that I struggle with when it comes to baby clothes. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but I feel like every single company that sells baby clothes, their sizing is different. So if you go to Walmart and buy baby clothes, I feel like the sizing is different than if you order from H&M, you know what I mean? It just drives me insane because I never know which size to get for her. <laughs> I don't want to order stuff that's too small. I'd much rather order stuff that she can like grow into. So this size is 12 to 18 months. I feel like it's kind of on the bigger side of 12 to 18 months, but definitely in that realm. Definitely this isn't going to fit her until the winter, which is what I was wanting anyway, so that's perfect but I would say it's definitely on the closer end to 18 months. So that's the first one I got, cute little two-piece set. Like I said, for $8.99, I feel like that is a pretty good deal. The next thing I got was $6.99. This is cute little overall set. This will definitely fit her right now. And this is, what size is this? This 
is 9 to 12 months. So I feel like that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty accurate. My daughter is one and she's definitely like on the smaller size of clothing usually. 9 to 12 months usually fits her pretty good. Um, but then again, in some brands, she can still be wearing like six month stuff. It really just depends on the brand. But I feel like this is pretty accurate. Like this will fit her right now and she's 12 months and I do feel like this will fit her for at least a few months. Another cool feature of this one is that it is adjustable so you can make the strap smaller, which for $6.99, I wasn't really expecting it to be adjustable. So that is pretty awesome. And it does have the little snaps at the bottom. There is some threads coming out, but that's nothing that I can't cut off. It's not gonna wreck it at all. I think she will look adorable in this. I'm excited to put it on her. The next thing I got is another two piece set and this one is $7.99. So this one comes with shorts and a cute little matching top. This one says nine to 12 months. I feel like this is definitely a little bit closer to 12 to 18 months size. This definitely will not quite fit her yet, but it will fit her in a few months, I would say. I definitely feel like this is closer to 12 to 18 months. Like it's pretty close in size to the other 12 to 18 month leopard outfit that I got. So maybe a little inconsistent on sizing, but again, it was $7.99. So I'm not complaining, she can grow into it. My biggest concern was that things were gonna be too small and then I would have like wasted my money, but if she can grow into it, I'm okay with that. So the quality looks pretty good. Again, it's just like a thin material, but it still has a little bit of stretch to it and it, the waistband is definitely stretchy on these. It doesn't feel like really cheap by any means. Super cute, I'm excited for her to wear that one too. Okay, next up, another two piece set. This one was $7.99 as well. I don't know if these things were on sale when I bought them. I didn't have like a coupon code or anything. I just ordered directly from the website. So I'm not sure if they were on sale or if this is the regular price. Seems pretty cheap, so they may have been on sale. But this is the next set. So again, we have some little shorts and these ones actually have the drawstring waistband so that you can adjust them. We have of the matching top which has the tie up straps so that is that set this one is 9 to 12 months okay I feel like this is a lot like this will fit her right now this is definitely a different size than the other 9 to 12 month one but that's okay it's accurate for 9 to 12 months I would say okay next up this one was $6.99 and this oh yes I remember this one this is like a little overall set this looks really big this is nine to 12 months. Okay, so definitely <laughs> we can agree there is some inconsistencies on the sizing, but I'd rather it be too big than too small. So I'm definitely not complaining because she can grow into all of this. So that is that, super cute. It has the drawstring. Oh wait, that's actually not a real drawstring. It just looks like it is, that's okay. It does have the adjustable straps again though. So it might this might actually fit her right now if I put it down to the smallest size. And this is actually a thicker material than everything else so far. So that's nice because she can wear it in the fall. I would again say this is closer to 12 to 18 months at least when I'm looking at my child because she is, like I said, a little bit on the smaller side. So this won't fit her yet, but it will fit her soon. Another two piece set, this one was $8.99. So we have little shorts. Oh my gosh, these are just so adorable. And then we have the matching top. This again looks really big. What size is this one? This one is 12 to 18 months. Okay, so that makes sense. And definitely like to me, this looks like it's closer to fitting a two year old, but I could be wrong on that. I don't know, what do you guys think? It looks really big to me for a one year old. This is not a drawstring waist, but it's super stretchy. Again, there's like a couple threads hanging around, <laughs> but it's nothing major. It honestly looks pretty good to me. This is like a comfy material. Everything's really stretchy, which is good. So I know it's gonna be comfy for her. And the last thing I got is actually a matching, I had to go to the matching section, you know it. <laughs> and I got a matching mommy daughter t-shirt. So let's see what these look like. Her t-shirt was $6.99 and I remember ordering her, yeah, I ordered 12 to 18 months that it would fit her for a long time. Again, this looks like a two-year-old size to me, but that's okay. I think it would actually be really cute if I like tied it in the front. So it's okay that it's baggy, but it just says good vibes. 
cute little t-shirt again it's really stretchy it feels like decent quality and then mine my t-shirt was $8.99 and I ordered myself a large because I wanted it to be baggy so that I could tie it in the front this is what mine looks like definitely that was a large I would say which is perfect because that's what I wanted and I'll be able to tie it so I will try this on for you guys and show you what it looks like on this is what the shirt looks like on me I could definitely tie it like this or just do the one knot in front but I think that the large size and having it a bit oversized is super cute and it's not see-through or anything even if I pull it tight so that to me is a thumbs up and that is everything that I got from Pat Pat. Well, first impression is that I had a great experience with their shipping and customer service and everything like that seemed really good to me. And the shipping time for me was totally acceptable and understandable, especially with everything going on right now. I think things are taking longer, but I still feel like that was a good amount of time. I don't know, two weeks is pretty normal for me when ordering stuff where I live. I feel like for the price, everything is definitely decent quality. Like I wouldn't order and expect to get amazing quality items, but for the price, you're definitely getting decent quality. Another place that I order baby clothes from a lot is H&M, and those are definitely better quality, but again, you're gonna be paying more for them. I personally don't mind having baby clothes that aren't top quality because they grow out of them so quickly and they get them so dirty and they wreck them. So for me, I don't mind spending less and having more outfits for her to wear than spending more and having less outfits because I know how quickly they get dirty and how much I have to wash them and how often they get wrecked and stained. So I'm totally okay with things not being the most amazing quality if I'm only paying $6.99 or $8.99 for a whole outfit. I feel like for me, that is totally fine. Some people maybe would want better quality items, but I'm just letting you know that for those prices, you're still getting a decent quality, I feel like. I had a really great experience with Pat Pat. I have no complaints, I had no issues. I definitely feel like the sizing is a little bit inconsistent as you guys could see. As I said, for baby clothes, it's pretty normal, but then again, if they're coming from the same brand, you kind of expect all of their sizes to be consistent within each other, so I don't know. I definitely don't feel like you need to size down or size up. I think if you just order the size that your baby currently is, and sometimes it might come a little bit big, apparently, that's okay because they can grow into it. That is my Pat Pat haul and review for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If there's any other companies, baby companies, or just clothing companies or whatever that you want me to do a review on, just post them in the comments down below and I will definitely look into it. I really enjoy doing these kinds of videos and I really enjoy buying her cute clothes. So I'm totally game to try out some new brands. So I just wanted to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We post at least two times a week usually, so there's always new content on our channel. I don't want you guys to miss any of it, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up or a comment down below and let me know. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!